next on this special primetime edition of Apple Valley News Now after the Stanley Cup Finals. Find themselves out on the street with no place to go. Uh, this is a, a, a great option. Recovery in focus. Representative Dan Newhouse visits a sober living home in Kennewick and we tag along. Plus, following up. We are working hard to educate the public on what the facts are. We have new information about the West Richland Citizens Group who do not want a marijuana dispensary to open in their city. Also ahead. Born in Westfield, Alabama in 1931. Remembering a baseball legend, Willie Mays dead at the age of 93. And Stacy is tracking your first alert forecast. Things are much calmer today. It's going to be mild and calm all night tonight. We're heading to the 80s tomorrow. Get ready for the 90s this weekend. All of the day's local news and weather is seconds away. This is Apple Valley News Now, prime time on your side. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Austin Reed. And I'm Alyssa Warner. We begin tonight with a motorcycle crash that shut down State Route 397 in Finley earlier this evening. Still working to get some information about exactly what happened there. We'll continue to have the latest updates for you on our website, applevalleynewsnow.com. And today, U.S. Congressman Dan Newhouse, who serves Washington's 4th District, was invited in to see a men's recovery house here in Kennewick. Yeah, the big takeaway, more funding is needed to help these places who help addicts recover keep running. Yeah, definitely, definitely people who have been through it. Welcome to the Seasons for Home. It's a sober living house on Hood Avenue in Kennewick. It's for men struggling with drugs, alcohol, and or mental health disorders. The whole, re the whole recovery field, Dan has always been a big proponent. He formed the Fentanyl Task Force, which I have the pleasure to uh, be able to serve on, but a lot of great impactful stuff um, going on here locally. On Tuesday afternoon, the representative got a tour of the home where 15 men learn how to live without the substances that brought them here in the first place. Jason Bliss has been a, a great part of that con contributing member. He invited me here to see firsthand what's going on. And you know, like the old saying, a picture's worth a thousand words. Newhouse and executive director Jason Bliss discussed the importance of recovery housing for addicts in both the Tri-Cities and Yakima. I too um, am a man in long-term recovery. Um, been in recovery for over 14 years. Um, had a love affair, if you will, with uh, various different stimulants that uh, all started in college uh, back in New York. Newhouse's visit comes on the heels of the topic of discussion at his most recent Central Washington Fentanyl Task Force meeting. I'm just totally blown away about the uh, seeing the efforts that are being uh, put forth to, to help people in need. Uh, from veterans to just regular people. And Bliss says homes like his are crucial and more funding is always needed because another area of focus for them is to help veterans who are struggling with addiction. From the overwhelming homeless population to crime to the fentanyl to the fentanyl overdose, a lot of light is shined on that part of it. Don't get me wrong, the pendulum is definitely starting to swing with the graduations from our therapeutic courts, the graduations from our drug courts. We just need to keep that momentum going. Newhouse says he will take what he learned today and help where he can. All right, let's talk about your forecast. We're starting to see things warm up after a kind of cool and rainy weekend. Yeah, Stacey Lee joining us now with the first look at the forecast. Good evening. It's looking lovely tonight. I've been watching uh, the Dust Devils. They're playing a doubleheader today in perfect weather, 75 degrees. Winds are really light at 7 miles per hour. Humidity's low, so great night to be out at Dust Devil Stadium. We're going to see temperatures dropping into the 40s through the area with clear and cool conditions and very light winds. Tomorrow, we heat up a full 10 degrees. Check that out. You'll definitely feel that warming trend and we're going to warm up even more as we get towards the weekend. And you know what? Just two days now until summer officially begins on June 20th at 1:51. So let's recap. We've got a mild and calm night ahead of us. We'll see temperatures in the 80s all through the area tomorrow. Get ready for the 90s this weekend. It's going to be brief and then we start to cool down. We'll see some strong gusty winds on Sunday, increasing our fire danger. So lots to get to and my first alert full weather forecast. Awesome. Austin, Alyssa. Thanks, Stacey. Tonight we're tracking new developments in a missing persons case that has drawn statewide attention. 21-year-old Nadia Cole disappeared from SeaTac Airport 
on May 29th, shortly after graduating from WSU. Now, investigators initially said she and 21-year-old Aaron Ong may have driven to Mexico with Ong's two-year-old daughter, who was supposed to be returned to her mother on June 3rd. Now, there is an arrest warrant out for him. He was also last seen with the two-year-old on May 29th. Today, investigators from the FBI joined Moscow and Pullman police officers to search a home that belongs to his parents. Information is still limited tonight, but Pullman police do say they got a search warrant, but no one was arrested at the home today. Nadia Cole and two-year-old Soraya Harmon are still considered missing. Franklin County's administrator is asking the commission he be let out of his contract with the county. The announcement comes amid an ongoing criminal investigation into several elected county officials. It happened today at the end of a special meeting of the Board of Commissioners. I move to acknowledge that the county administrator has approached the board about severing the administrator's current employment contract. The administrator will be on paid time off or PTO to allow the parties sufficient time to execute an amicable agreement. Gonzalez was not at the county commissioners meeting this morning. He has been with the county since March of 2023. Gonzalez was granted whistleblower protections in January of 2024 after he reported what he believed to be misconduct by Franklin County officials. That triggered an investigation into Chairman Rocky Mullen, Commissioner Clint Didier, and Auditor Matt Beaton. Some of the people involved in the investigation are being accused of witness tampering, criminal conspiracy, and official misconduct. The case has been forwarded on to the Snohomish County Prosecutor's Office for possible charges. We reached out to Mike Gonzalez about his asking to be let out of his contract. He says he can't comment much about the situation right now, but tells us, quote, I appreciate the opportunity to lead Franklin County. I accomplished a lot during my time. I want to thank the commissioners for the opportunity, end quote. We will continue to follow up on this story and keep you updated as things progress. Alyssa. And we're also tracking developing news in West Richland. A group of community members is saying the city council is silencing them. They want to talk about the upcoming advisory vote on recreational marijuana shops within city limits. But Apple Valley News Now's Monique Ledesma says while the citizens group does have a right to speak out, it can't be on city property or the city could face consequences. An advisory vote on recreational marijuana shops in the city of West Richland will be on the ballot on August 6th. It gives people who live in the city the right to decide whether or not those businesses should be allowed to set up shop. And the West Richland Citizens Group says it isn't buying in. Pot stores just fly in the face of what West Richland is all about. Daniel Ritchie, who is part of the group and lives in West Richland, says one of the reasons why he's against the shops is the drug exposure to kids. The location of the pot stores will be next to homes, kids, uh, schools, um, and so I'm just highly opposed to that. However, those who are in favor of the shops say it could mean some serious money for the city. The city council was presented with numbers estimating it could get about $60,000 per year of cannabis tax money back from the state of Washington. With tax rent review, the city could take in around $160,000. First, the city presented an online survey that people could weigh in on the shops. However, many were concerned about participation challenges, so the city put the advisory vote on the ballot. But Richie says he and the group he represents still have things to say. He wants to use the public comment section at the city council meeting to speak out, but the city council says he can't. State law does prohibit the use of public facilities to support or oppose ballot issues. That law does apply to citizen comment during meet public meetings. Um, as we are aware, that's a limited public forum for First Amendment purposes. We are allowed to impose viewpoint neutral um, regulations that are reasonable in light of the purpose. Despite being muzzled at the council meetings, Richie and the Citizens Group have started a petition to get their points across. I think that West Richland is a family-friendly community, and this flies right in the face of that. And so to that end, we've started the petition, uh, we've started door knocking, et cetera, uh, because we want to stop this. Richie says he wants people to understand the long-term effects a decision like this can have on a community and that people shouldn't be dazzled with dollar signs. Everybody thinks that it's gonna be flowers and, and champagne and roses and, and all of this, and it's not. 
And that's what I'm trying to do is just make sure that the citizens of West Richland are aware of the devil they're inviting into their home. I reached out to the city of West Richland, and while they didn't agree to an interview, they sent me a statement it reads in part, Once the advisory vote takes place on August 6, citizens will again be able to express their views on cannabis retail sales within the city of West Richland during public comment sessions, including an opportunity to speak on the matter prior to the city council taking final actions on the matter. Reporting in West Richland, Monique Ledesma, Apple Valley News Now. Now, if people do make comments on the upcoming vote or pot shops during public comment time during city council meetings, they could be fined. Those fines range from $5,000 or all the way up to being prosecuted by the state. They're not on the citizen. They would actually be on the city of West Richland for allowing the use of their facility for promotion or opposition. Say hey, say who, say Willie. Baseball legend Willie Mays has died at the age of 93. He was Rookie of the Year in 1951, twice was named the most valuable player, and finished in the top 10 for the MVP 10 other times. He was the oldest living Hall of Famer, voted in as soon as he became eligible for the honor. The MLB commissioner said, quote, Willie inspired generations of players and fans. We will never forget this true giant on and off the field, end quote. It's always good to see something that can transcend sports like that. For sure, yeah. Rest in peace to Willie Mays. Well, the weather roller coaster continues here in our area. We are nearing the longest day of the year. Still light out there this evening at 8, 11 p.m. <laughs> Stacey Lee returns with all the details. You need to start making your weekend plans coming up. And it is wildfire season this year. That could mean you are without power for parts of the summer. We're talking about that next in prime time. The Honda you want is here. Driving the moment with the rugged and capable Ridgeline, Passport, and Pilot. Find your adventure with great offers now available on the Honda you want. All from the 2023 Kelly Blue Books KBB.com Best Value Brand. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or hurry into your local Honda dealer today. I'm a real wild one. Once in a while, we all want to go wild. We just need a little help. Meet a little help. The 2024 Ford Bronco Sport Wild Edition goes over any terrain so you can go all out. Get a wild deal on a Bronco Sport today. Lease a Bronco Sport Wild Edition for $339 a month for 36 months. Or purchase with $3.9 for 36 and get $2,000 wild bonus cash. If you're injured on the job, you need an experienced workers' comp attorney. Workers' compensation is complex. It has its own laws, doctors, courts, and judges. For years as an assistant attorney general, I represented labor and industries now, I fight for injured workers. If you were hurt at work, let us go to work to get you benefits. Call 509-584-4411, Bothwell and Hamill. This 4th of July, come celebrate at the River of Fire Festival in Columbia Park. The event starts at 2 p.m. with fireworks at 10 p.m. Enjoy a free, fun-filled day for the whole family. Kids will love the bounce house, face painting, obstacle course, and games in the kids' zone. Savor delicious treats from food trucks. Enjoy live music on two stages and activities throughout the day. And when the sun sets, get ready for an unforgettable fireworks show. Don't miss out. Come celebrate Independence Day at the River of Fire Festival. No matter how he got here, how alone she feels, how they've struggled to support their best friend, what's important is this moment when they reached out and said, I can't do this alone. And we said, that's okay, we'll figure it out together. If you or a loved one needs support, our trained counselors can help you too. 988, anywhere, anytime. 
Truck, trucks, and more trucks at the Auto Lot. Check this out. 2017 F-150 XL TBA 4x4 for only 69 dollars Wow, that's a deal. Or how about this 2023 GMC Low, low, low miles. Only half 12,000 miles. Or how about this 2019 Sierra Elevation? Make your neighbors jealous with this beautiful Sierra 4x4. Now, this is a deal. 2012 F-350 Super Duty. Lifted 4x4 turbo diesel for only $21,995. And look at this 2032 Toyota Crew Max. Platinum loaded from top to bottom 4x4 and more. Don't miss out. Visit us at AutoLotNW.com. STC and Apple Valley News now honor local volunteers by sharing their stories and donating $1,000 to their favorite charities. To nominate someone who's making a difference in Benton and Franklin counties, just click on Volunteers Count at AppleValleyNewsNow.com. Meet the man promoting wind power on Horse Heaven Hills. Apple Valley News Now, Wednesday. Well, it is wildfire season, and tonight Pacific Power held a customer forum in Yakima to talk about what they're doing to lower fire risks. That could include shutting down your power during extreme fire weather. So their in-house meteorologists talked this evening about the weather technology they use to map out fire risks. That's based on current and predicted weather conditions. They have 454 weather stations throughout their territory, which covers about a million square miles in Washington. They say it's monitored 24-7. They did also talk about when fire risks are very high, there may be preventative power shutdowns. Now, Pacific Power says that hasn't happened for them in Washington state, but in 2022, they did have to do that in Oregon. They also have had to de-energize live power lines. So how many you know, uh, emergency de-energizations have occurred in Yakima so far this year? There's been seven de-energizations uh, year to date. Some of those have been really big where we've had a 40,000 customer de-energization where it lasted four hours. Some of them have been really small, where it's only impacted 43 customers for, for two hours. We had one this last Saturday, right? 10,000 acre uh, wildfire where we de-energized um, and, it, and it res restoration took 10 hours, 14 hours. All right, so the company studies all of the data from their wildfire risk modeling tools. Then they say they work to mitigate what they can. One tactic they use is called system hardening. That part of the plan involves insulating bare wires so that they won't be as much of a fire threat, installing fire resistant poles and when possible, moving wires underground. They also talked about fire safety that you should do. One option is to have an emergency plan in place so you and your family know where to meet if there is a fire. Also recommended, have a hard copy, don't rely on your phone, of emergency phone numbers and medical information. And finally, they recommend having an emergency kit ready to go. That should include a supply of food and water, a first aid kit, backup medications, toys and comfort items for the kids. If you've got pets, you'll want to have pet food and a leash or kennel ready to go. And then items for any vulnerable loved ones, like a walker or cane, hearing aids or other medical equipment. From Apple Valley News Now, first alert weather with Stacy Lee. Well, the, the weather has just been lovely all day today. Still 75 degrees outside as the sun just starting to hit, uh, just to settle behind Badger Mountain. Uh, 35 degrees is our dew point. 77 is our feels like temperature and the winds are nice and light. Our sunset tonight at 851. Let's talk about temperatures elsewhere around the area. Now we're a little bit cool uh, already in Cleel. I'm down to 59, low 70s in the uh, first part of the Yakima Kittitas Valley, mid 70s as we make our way into the Columbia Basin. And we're we're down to 70 right now in Walla Walla. Uh, temperatures are on the rise. You're going to really feel it tomorrow. A good 10 degrees or more. In fact, we're 13 degrees warmer in Ellensburg than uh, tonight than we were just 24 hours ago. 10 degrees warmer Walla Walla. Look at Pendleton, a whopping 17 degrees warmer with those temperatures continuing to rise as we head towards the weekend. Let's talk winds. That has been a concern that helped uh, spread some of those fires over the weekend. We've calmed down for the most part today. Light breezes out there, but nice and calm. Things are going to shift a little bit as we get into our Thursday. We'll have light breezy winds to start the day, and then those winds will start to pick up in the afternoon in the Yakima and Kittitas Valley, mainly Columbia River Gorge, and we'll see a few light winds coming towards the Columbia Basin, but overall pretty nice. Now let's talk about the temperature roller coaster as we continue to ride that. Uh, 76 for the uh, average today, 83 putting us right around average tomorrow, and then we bump up above our average by uh, over 10 degrees in Yakima. Same trend is going to happen in the Tri-Cities. We're going to get up to our average basically tomorrow, and then we're going to 
jump above that average by 10 degrees as we head into the weekend. Walla Walla, same uh, situation. You'll see those 90 degree temps just for Friday and Saturday, and then we'll slowly start to back off and cool back down as the next weather maker moves through the area. Clear and cool tonight. Temperatures in the Yakima and Kittitas Valley in the mid and upper 40s. 48 tonight in Sunnyside, 46 in Yakima. Columbia Basin, Tri-Cities area will see 47 and 48 degrees. Prosser a little warmer at 49. Foothills of the Blues staying warm in Milton Freewater tonight at 50 degrees. Walla Walla 46, Dayton 48 degrees. Uh, let's take a look at our daytime highs for tomorrow. Again, there's that 10 degree jump. We'll be in the 80s along the foothills of the Blues, the upper 80s here in the Columbia Basin, and the low uh, upper 70s and low 80s there in the Yakima and Kittitas Valley. So looking pretty good as we get through the day tomorrow. Let's take a look at what you're uh, going to be looking at out the door tomorrow. Temperatures pretty warm right around 60 degrees, close to 80 by noon, and then we'll be over 80 degrees in all of our areas after 5 o'clock tomorrow. So dress accordingly. Here's your seven day quick planning forecast. It's Juneteenth tomorrow and our first day of summer officially on Thursday. There's those 90 degree temps through Saturday cooling back down gradually as we head into the early part of next week. Walla Walla, Hermiston, nice looking weather there as well. You'll feel that summer heat on Thursday with close to 90 degrees in both towns and then we'll eventually start to cool down. Look for these blustery winds on Sunday. This could be a heightened fire day, so we'll want to be very fire wise going through the weekend. Austin, Alyssa. All right, Stacy, thank you for that. All right, still ahead tonight. The Surgeon General wants warning labels on social media sites, and now one of the biggest school districts in the country is preparing to implement a potentially controversial change. We're talking about that next. You're gonna need a new bumper. Did you say burger? Guac? Santa Fe burger sauce. Burger. Jalapeno pepper. Burger. 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 Spicy cheese bacon. Guac, cheese, bacon. Carl's Jr. El Diablo is back. Get a single for $5.99. Hey, Burger! Get Burger. Here's to feeling at home on mountain trails, playing by the river all day, exploring your favorite off-beaten paths and terrains, or simply savoring your favorite foods. Here's to Subaru season. Experience all our hometown summers have to offer with the new Subaru Outback from McCurley Subaru. Your way home. Get a new Subaru Outback from McCurley Subaru today with 2.9% financing. Hey, your homework done? Yep. Mm. Hey, is your homework done? This kind of is homework. So, what do you think? Uh, I'm so proud of you. Can I play some more? Is all your work done? Washington's Lottery is a proud partner in the goal to promote college and career training. Each time you play, you're helping students statewide. Why is my internet slow? There's only 16 devices connected. I'm so over this. My cable internet bill just increased again. My upload speed is so bad, I can't even run a stream without buffering. Defeat cable lag. Switch to Zipply Fiber, America's fastest home internet. 25 times faster uploads. $65 less a month in cable. Zipply Fiber. Call 1-888-GO-ZIPLY or visit ZipplyFiber.com slash go -ZIPLY. Researching childhood vaccines often feels like this. When T lymphocytes recognize antigens. They are lying to us. Vaccines are just another plot to make money. The most important thing parents should know about vaccines is. Accept my cookies. Sign up for the newsletter. Sorry. You've reached your free article limit. There's a simpler way to get answers. Visit vaccinesmartwa.org. If your family is anything like this, you need quality floors from Empire Today. Like durable carpet with built-in stain and pet protection. Tough wood laminate with a scratch-resistant finish. Or waterproof vinyl plank floors. Even bath time is no match. And when life happens, Empire backs every floor with great warranties. Quality floors you can count on. Save $350 on your next project. Call this special number now. 1-844-254-8536. Give in to your devilish desires. Scorch your taste buds. It's Carl Jr.'s El Diablo Burger. I'm short on cash. It's just $5.99. Fine. The Carl Jr. El Diablo single, just $5.99. Big Burger. Good Burger. 
Welcome back. Yesterday, we told you about the U.S. Surgeon General's push to get warning labels on social media sites because of the impact that he says those platforms have on children and teenagers. Well, today, the Los Angeles Unified School District voted to ban students from having cell phones while class is in session. Now, those in support of the move say that cell phones can negatively impact in-person communication, creative thinking, and mental health. But critics say that students should still be allowed to have access to their phones, especially in case of an emergency. The ban is scheduled to start in January. If it gets fully implemented, it would impact more than 500,000 students from kindergarten all the way through 12th grade. Still ahead tonight, President Biden taking new actions on immigration policy today. We're going to break down the changes and the criticism the president is facing in response. That's coming up in the next five minutes. Tri-Q Credit Union C3 Slam. It all happens July 13th and 14th at John Dam Plaza. Grocery outlet, bargain market. Organic at this price? Is this for real? Not exactly. That's bargain bliss setting in. You're basking in the glow of organic produce at shockingly low prices. I guess the choir isn't real either. Oh no, they're real. They're here every Sunday afternoon. Grocery outlet, bargain market. Honda you want is here. Get a great offer on the stylish HRV or the Civic. Which car and driver called fun to drive? There's never been a better time to drive in the moment with Honda. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or hurry into your local Honda dealer today. If there's one thing we like, it's choices. Find yours with Ford F-150. Gas, hybrid, or all electric. Whether it's towing, powering up, or getting from zero to 60 in 3.8 seconds, what you choose to do with that much power is up to you. Tough this smart can only be called F-150. Just announced, low 1.9% APR financing for 72 months on a 2023 Ford F-150 or on the all-electric F-150 Lightning. Your best days of the year start here at Kubota Orange Days. It's the year's biggest selection of Kubota tractors, zero-turn mowers, and utility vehicles, including the number one selling compact tractor in the USA. Plus the year's best deals, like 0% APR for 84 months or up to $3,300 off select compact tractors. Orange goes all day. Sales ending soon. Visit your local dealer today. Find a Kubota dealer near you at gokubota.com. <laughs> I felt like there was just no answers to get out of the anxiety and the depression that I had. Introducing Neurostim TMS, Washington's leading provider of transcranial magnetic stimulation, or TMS therapy. TMS is not shock therapy. It's an FDA approved, easy outpatient experience and covered by all major medical insurances. There's nothing better than just being able to enjoy life again. Reach out to Neurostim TMS today and rediscover the light and joy in your life. Are you waking up in the morning with a sore jaw, headaches, maybe even ringing in your ears, all because you're grinding and clenching your teeth at night? That's exactly what was going on with me. That's when I found this, the Brux Night Guard. Now the Brux Night Guard redirects the bite force away from the back teeth, reducing jaw pain while still protecting the teeth. This unique design is what makes Brux Night Guard different from all other traditional grind guards. Go to bruxnightguard.com and order yours today. Navigating a real estate transaction can be overwhelming, from finding the right property to navigating the closing process. That's why a successful real estate transaction requires a team of professionals. At Windermere, our team consists of experienced realtors to guide you through the process, an in-house marketing team to maximize your home's exposure, transaction coordinators to ensure accuracy throughout the transaction, and a network of local industry experts. With Windermere on your side, you can have peace of mind and confidence in your real estate journey. Welcome back. Justin Timberlake was arrested for DUI overnight, accused of driving past a stop sign and swerving into oncoming traffic. According to the criminal complaint, police say Timberlake had bloodshot, glassy eyes and his breath smelled of alcohol. They say he also had slowed speech and performed poorly on a field sobriety test. He was held overnight and appeared for arraignment on a misdemeanor DWI charge this morning before being released without bail. 
Well, it is a busy time in Washington, D.C. Today, lawmakers in Congress heard from the outgoing CEO of Boeing about ongoing safety concerns. Plus, we are talking extreme heat set to hit most of the United States, and it could have an impact on the national economy. Apple Valley News Now in prime time continues. This is Apple Valley News Now, prime time on your side. Thanks for staying with us, everybody. Well, it is a very big day for immigration policy. President Biden announced a new legal process for undocumented immigrants who are married to American citizens to get permanent residency. Yeah, this comes after the president announced a controversial crackdown at the border. ABC's Christiane Cordero has a closer look at what these changes entail. Today's sweeping new executive actions could potentially protect up to half a million of undocumented immigrants from being deported. One executive action affects non-citizens married to U.S. citizens who have lived here for at least a decade. Under current laws, those spouses are sometimes required to return to their home country to apply for legal permanent residence. The new policy would streamline that, allowing them to stay during that application period. Their children are also eligible. Essentially, this new policy that would be aimed at keeping families together. So a U.S. citizen who's married to an undocumented spouse wouldn't have to be uh, apart from their spouse uh, for a long period of time just to get this legal status that they are already eligible for. Eligible families must pass a background check. The second executive action would streamline access to work visas for some undocumented immigrants, including those brought to the U.S. as children who are now adults, also known as dreamers. In order to be eligible for this, you have to have received a higher education uh, degree from an institution here in the United States and also uh, an employment offer in a field that aligns exactly with that uh, major or degree that you received here. The two executive actions protecting undocumented immigrants come just weeks after Biden's attempts to crack down on the number of migrants entering through the southern border illegally. Christiane Cordero, ABC News, Washington. And today, the federal government released a report that formally acknowledged for the first time how building dams on the Snake and Columbia Rivers hurt tribes in the Pacific Northwest. That report says the dams devastated salmon runs, flooded villages and burial grounds and are still to this day limiting treaty fishing rights. The report also has some recommendations about how the federal government can take action in the future to address those impacts. All right, time to talk about the weather now. And it's been warming up a little bit after that cool weekend. Yeah, and it looks like that roller coaster is going to continue <laughs> the rest of the week, Stacey. Yeah, that's the case, guys. It's been a weather roller coaster temperature wise anyway. So we're a little bit warmer than we were over the weekend and we're going to get even warmer tomorrow. Right now, 75 degrees on our health first uh, station tower cam. Winds are light at seven miles an hour. The sun getting ready to set there at 851. Now we're almost to the longest day of the year. That will be Thursday uh, tonight. Look for mostly clear skies, nice light winds, comfortable temperatures in the 40s overnight tonight and uh, for tomorrow. There's that warm up a full 10 degrees warmer, so you'll definitely feel that winds are going to be a little bit breezy, but not bad. Not like we encountered over the weekend in the last couple of days. So to recap, mild calm night ahead. We've got 80s headed our way tomorrow, 90s for the weekend. We're going to see cool and windy conditions on Sunday that could be elevating our fire danger once again. So we'll talk about that coming up in my first alert full weather forecast. Austin, Alyssa. Thanks, Stacey. Well, today another whistleblower came forward at Boeing. This just hours before the CEO testified before a Senate subcommittee answering lawmakers questions about safety. Yeah, so Pete Muntean has the highlights from that hearing. Let's watch. I'm here in the spirit of transparency. Tonight, the head of Boeing says he is responsible for the company's repeat failures spanning years. It is the major admission from a relentless blasting by senators. The first public hearing since January's dramatic door plug blowout brought Boeing quality control into question. This hearing is a moment of reckoning. You don't recognize the Boeing that has airplanes falling out of the sky? Boeing CEO Dave Calhoun walked into a hearing room at capacity with critics. In the audience, families of those killed in the two 737 MAX 8 crashes held signs saying the company has blood on its hands. I would like to apologize on behalf of all of our Boeing associates spread throughout the world. It is the newest acknowledgement by Boeing of its faults, from the certification of its planes to problems on factory floors. These are chilling allegations. 
The bombshell here from committee chair Richard Blumenthal, a new whistleblower account that Boeing hid substandard parts from the FAA and still put them on airplanes. Blumenthal says the worker spoke up but was told to shut up. How many of your employees have been fired for retaliating against whistleblowers? Senator, I don't have that number on the tip of my tongue, but I know it, have I know any? it happens. The account in this hearing makes more than a dozen Boeing whistleblowers to speak to the committee. Here, senators from both parties pressed Calhoun on quality control. He outlined an overhaul plan. Our culture is far from perfect. But we are taking action and we are making progress. Though his promises did little to settle critics. Why haven't you resigned? Senator, I'm, I'm sticking this through. I'm proud of having taken the job. I'm proud of our proud of this safety record. record. And I am proud very of safety proud record. of our Boeing people. You're proud very. of this safety record. I am proud of every action we have taken. Calhoun is staying on as Boeing CEO until the end of the year. Samia Stumo was killed in the 2019 737 MAX 8 crash. Here, her mother said she has no faith in a Boeing turnaround. When they get pressed for time and they need to produce a lot of planes quickly, they throw all of their safety rubrics out the window. That was Pete Montian reporting the latest whistleblower to come forward is saying that Boeing hid questionable plane parts from regulators by moving them to a different location and falsifying records. He is saying those questionable parts may have ended up installed in 737 MAX planes. Boeing tonight says it is reviewing those accusations. Well, the Department of Justice says investigators have busted a money laundering ring involving a Mexican cartel, underground Chinese banking, and drugs sold here in the United States. Federal prosecutors charged two dozen people with conspiracy to help distribute drugs and launder money. Investigators say Operation Fortune Runner uncovered a conspiracy to sell drugs in the United States, then move the money through Chinese banks to cartels in Mexico. Together, these groups have created an organization in which millions and millions of dollars are moved in proceeds from the drug sales in the United States back down to Mexico. And wealthy Chinese nationals in this country are given access to virtually limitless supplies of cash. Now, both Chinese and Mexican law enforcement agencies told the Department of Justice they have arrested people named in the indictment who fled the United States. We have a follow-up this evening. The shooter who attacked a nightclub in Colorado Springs nearly two years ago pleaded guilty today to 50 federal hate crime charges. The club was considered a sanctuary for the LGBTQ plus community. The attack in November of 2022 left five people dead and 19 injured. The shooter, who is now 24 years old, was already sentenced to life in prison on state charges. Today's guilty plea on federal charges was part of a deal to avoid the death penalty. Well, a consumer alert for you tonight. The United States has stopped inspecting most shipments of avocados from Mexico, at least for now. Yeah, so the USDA says two of its employees were assaulted in Mexico, and now inspections on avocados and mangoes in that part of the country have been paused because of safety concerns. The inspectors are checking to make sure that produce being exported to the United States doesn't have any diseases that could impact crops here. Mexico's Producers and Packers Association says it is working with government officials to get those inspections going again. Now, the last time inspections were paused was all the way back in February of 2022. And in that case, it took about a week to get things back to normal. We are talking about a warm up on the way. Stacy Lee is back and she's tracking some potentially windy conditions. Her forecast coming up. And we're hoping to avoid scenes like this one. Wildfires in New Mexico now turning deadly, forcing thousands of people from their homes. We're talking about that when we come back. Tri-Q Credit Union C3 Slam. It all happens July 13th and 14th at John Dam Plaza. When our nice weather returns, everyone experiences the urge to get outside and enjoy our local climate. Remember not to let your exuberance give way to carelessness, because as your outdoor activities increase, so does your risk of having an accident. Researching childhood vaccines often feels like this. When T lymphocytes recognize antigens, they are lying to us. Vaccines are just another plot to make money. The most important thing parents should know about vaccines is accept my cookies. Sign up for the newsletter. Sorry, you've reached your free article limit. There's a simpler way to get answers. 
Visit vaccinesmartwa.org. Hey, your homework done? Yep. Mm. Hey, is your homework done? This kind of is homework. So, what do you think? Uh, I'm so proud of you. Can I play some more? Is all your work done? Washington's Lottery is a proud partner in the goal to promote college and career training. Each time you play, you're helping students statewide. If your family is anything like this, you need quality floors from Empire Today. Like durable carpet with built-in stain and pet protection. Tough wood laminate with a scratch-resistant finish. Or waterproof vinyl plank floors. Even bath time is no match. And when life happens, Empire backs every floor with great warranties. Quality floors you can count on. Save $350 on your next project. Call this special number now. 1-844-254-8536. At Bruce Heating and Air, your comfort is our business. With over 30 years of professional HVAC experience for residential and commercial properties, you can rest assured your heating and air system is in good hands. In addition to providing quality heating, air conditioning, ventilation, and installation services, Bruce Heating and Air also houses a full-service sheet metal fabrication shop. Now through June 30th, receive rebates up to $1,950 off on a new Daikin Fit system when you finance through Bruce Heating and Air. No matter what roads lead you home, McCurley Mazda is about to make your journey even better. Whether it's cruising riverside highways, winding vineyard trails, or anywhere else your travels take you, now is the perfect time to upgrade your way home. Visit McCurley in the Pasco Autoplex today for this special offer. Find your way home in a new 2024 Mazda CX-5 with 0% financing up to 60 months from McCurley Mazda. 14.9% of American men 18 plus are in fair or poor health. Could one of them be you? Find out more about men's health at applevalleynewsnow.com. Sponsored locally by Prosser Memorial Health. Learn more at prosserhealth.org. This is how we care. You know, there's no such thing as a minor fender bender when you're on a motorcycle. When motorcyclists get in an accident, they get hurt. So if someone else's carelessness has caused your luck to run out, get some legal help. Find out what your rights are under the law. Hey, welcome back. The governor of New Mexico tonight says at least one person is confirmed dead in a wildfire that has forced thousands of people to evacuate. Yeah, the governor has declared a countywide state of emergency that extended to neighboring tribal lands. They've deployed National Guard troops. Residents had to leave in a hurry to escape this fire near Ruidoso. It's damaged more than 500 buildings so far, and fire crews really don't have a good picture of the damage yet because they're simply working to get the fire under control as they're facing very challenging conditions. And it's not just wildfires. Millions of Americans are facing extreme heat this week, and that could have a big impact on budgets. Reporter Karen Kafa is in Washington with a look at some of the numbers and ways for households to safely cut those costs. Extreme heat is becoming more frequent and more costly. We would never think about planning for wildfire season or hurricane season just during those seasons. Ashley Ward of the Duke University Heat Policy Innovation Hub says that these punishing heat waves make it more expensive to cool a home. When temperatures overnight don't fall uh, below 75 degrees, for example, um, it doesn't give the body or any living thing or our energy systems time to recover from that daytime exposure. David Tinsley, senior economist for the Bank of America Institute, says their analysis found higher average temperatures boosting consumers' average monthly utility payments by 23 percent since 2019. All the data is suggesting that these heat waves are hotter and are lasting longer. And so when that occurs, people have to turn up their aircon and leave it on longer, and that's adding to cost. There's a burden on businesses, too. In a 2023 report, the U.S. Congress Joint Economic Committee cited data pointing to more than 2.5 billion hours of lost labor across certain sectors like agriculture, construction, and manufacturing. These extremes of heat are really impactful. So it does have a somewhat depressing effect on the overall economy. Extreme heat can also disrupt the airline industry. When air is hot and less dense, planes need less weight or more runway for takeoff. That can lead to bump passengers or baggage or canceled flights. In Washington, I'm Karen Kafa.
From Apple Valley News Now, First Alert Weather with Stacy Lee. And we've had a very pleasant day, still beautiful outside, clear skies as far as the eye can see, 75 degrees right now in our Dust Devil Sky Cam. Uh, the boys have been playing a double header today, so good uh, baseball weather. Winds are light at 7 miles per hour and our sunset tonight at 851, so we're just about there. Temperatures elsewhere around the area, still nice and warm outside. Look at that, 68 in Ellensburg. It's 71 right now in Yakima. Hermiston still sitting up at 73, Walla Walla 70 degrees. Let's come pair from yesterday just 24 hours ago. This is the warming trend and you'll feel it again tomorrow. A good 10 degrees or more. 13 degrees warmer right now in Ellensburg. It's 12 degrees warmer in Hermiston and 10 degrees warmer tonight in Walla Walla than just 24 hours ago. And let's compare the weekend. Remember our 60s and 70s last weekend? Not the case. For this weekend we'll see more like 90s. So you'll be wanting the ice cream and get ready to uh, be outdoors and try to stay cool and hydrated. Let's talk about winds. That's been a concern and we're going to see that start to come back in a little bit on Thursday, but more so we're looking into Sunday, Monday as some windy days. Uh, future cast shows us pretty light, light winds to start our day tomorrow morning. Uh, staying pretty light all day long. As we get into Thursday, we're going to see some of these winds pick up through the mountain gaps, like through Ellensburg and Yakima, 16 to 25 mile an hour wind gusts. Nothing substantial, but again, it does heighten that uh, fire danger, so we want to be fire wise. Getting through the rest of the day Thursday, looking good. The temperature roller coaster continues. Here we are, the wild ride hitting up to the 80s tomorrow, 90s into the weekend, and right back down into the 80s. And as you can see, we're just going to be right above that average by 10 degrees dropping down to right about where we should be early next week. Temperatures around the area tonight. Good sleeping weather. Temperatures in the 40s for the Yakima and Kittitas Valley. 45 tonight, Cleelum. 48 Toppenish and Sunnyside. 46 in Yakima. In the Tri-Cities and Columbia Basin area, we'll see temperatures also in the upper 40s. Tri-Cities at 48 tonight. Hermiston, 47. It's 49 tonight in Prosser. And Foothills of the Blues, a nice evening there as well. Pendleton down to 46. Same for Walla Walla. 50 degrees, Milton Freewater and Dayton at 48. Look for that sunshine and those temperatures going up, up, up. A good 10 degrees through the area tomorrow. All of us in the upper 70s, low to mid and upper 80s for the entire region. So it's going to be a nice day. Let's take a look at that seven day planning forecast as we head towards our first day of summer on Thursday. Summer solstice, also the longest day of the year on Thursday. Juneteenth tomorrow, 90s through Saturday in in Yakima and then we'll see those gusty winds pick up on Sunday. Uh, also windy again on Tuesday. So fire danger elevated due to those gusty winds. Uh, nice day for the first day of summer in Tri Cities hitting 90 degrees. Stand pretty warm right on through Saturday and then we'll gradually drop back down into the 80s beginning Sunday. Walla Walla's got some great weather coming up this weekend. Also nice warm day for their first day of summer. 89 degrees. Look for those breezy and gusty winds uh, coming our way Monday and Tuesday in the Walla Walla area. Yeah. Hermiston, beautiful. Look for gusty winds on Sunday. Light, l nice temperatures on our longest day of the year, Thursday, 90 degrees. So overall, not a bad looking forecast going forward. Much warmer than we were, though, last weekend. So again, be fire wise out there. Things are drying up. Those temperatures are rising and those breezy winds could rapidly spread fire. So be safe out there. Still to come, your viewer photo of the day. Austin, Alyssa. Thanks, Stacey. And up next on Apple Valley News Now, it's time to fly the Northwest. Tonight, we're showing you a golf course that is being called a bucket list spot. Hit the open road and head to Wild Horse Resort and Casino for the $160,000 Ultimate American Road Trip. Every Friday and Saturday, cruise in and win free play, gas cards, or up to $50,000 cash. Earn entries every day and multiply them on select Mondays. Then on June 29th, win your choice of $30,000 cash or a new Mustang. Keep playing in July to win a shiny new Harley. Wild Horse Resort and Casino. More winners, more often. Now is a great time to get an offer you'll love on the Accord Hybrid and CRV Hybrid. Inventory is here, so bring on the fun. Bring on the weekend getaways. Bring on the memories. And get a great offer on a Honda. Name the 2023 Kelly Blue Books KBB.com Best Value Brand. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or hurry into your local Honda dealer today. I'm a real wild one. Once in a while, we all want to go wild. We just need a little help. 
Meet a little help. The 2024 Ford Bronco Sport Wild Edition goes over any terrain so you can go all out. Get a wild deal on a Bronco Sport today. Lease a Bronco Sport Wild Edition for $339 a month for 36 months or purchase with $3.9 for 36 and get $2,000 wild bonus cash. Tastes so good. Oh my God. HelloFresh has made my life so much easier. They just have the most amazing recipes delivered right to your door. I love the fact that they always send me something different that I never would have made. Wide variety of pre portioned ingredients that help make sure you don't waste money on excess food, saving you time and stress. Affordable, really, really good and flavorful. This meal was absolutely delicious. Go to HelloFresh.com slash appetizers and use code appetizers to claim this offer. At Columbia Basin Buildings and Sheds, we've got you covered. We offer a variety of buildings and sheds that come with a five-year limited warranty, free delivery, and setup. Whether you're ready to custom create your space or just need extra storage, we're here to help every step of the way. All in-stock buildings can be delivered within seven to 10 days and custom builds in three to four weeks. So what are you waiting for? Find your perfect building or shed today with Columbia Basin Buildings and Sheds in West Richland. Visit us at our new urban wine bar in historic downtown Kennewick. Choose from a variety of wines and food from our expanded menu. Enjoy time with friends old and new. After hours with riverfront views from our shaded patio, we are Murray Gaston Wine Bar. Need a new furry pal? It's Operation Best Friend from Apple Valley News Now. Each Wednesday, we'll feature lovable pets from area shelters wanting forever homes. Operation Best Friend from Windermere Group One and Apple Valley News Now. Newscasts anytime with Apple Valley Plus on Roku, Apple Fire, and Smart TVs. Hey, a day like today just makes you want to get out on the golf course. And golfers at the Coeur d'Alene Resort can test their skills against a particularly challenging course with, get this, a floating green. We're checking that out on tonight's Fly of the Northwest. <laughs> Resort Golf Course. It's opened in 1991. It's kind of the start of, uh, you know, the master plan of our owner, Dwayne Hagedon. So this is actually the site of an old logging mill, and the uh, story goes that he saw a group of logs out in the lake uh, from the mill, and that's where the kind of the concept started rolling, and the vision took place to actually make a floating green. Also, it was movable, so this is all computer controlled with underwater cables as well. Yeah, you just turn a dial, basically, and, and um, it works on two giant wench systems with underwater cables, and it moves obviously very slowly. It, it weighs between four and five million pounds. Today it's playing about 160 yards. We can fluctuate the yardage pretty good, you can see, with the size of our tee boxes, but our guests do expect that every day they show up, the yardage is gonna be just a little bit different. It's an intimidating hole, there's no question, but um, at the same time, it's, it's actually a fairly big green. It's there's 15,000 square feet out there. So it's, uh, you know, intimidating, but uh, we just say take a deep breath and uh, you'll get on there. Play the proper club. Prevailing winds do come in, so I always say club up one. And really treat it like any other, any other shot. You know, I know it's hard to, you know, kind of take the water out of it, but just focus on your target. Take a deep breath and, and just make a smooth swing. I think last count, we were in the high 40s for a hole in one on this hole. We, we average one to two a year. The floating green obviously is a, you know, a bucket list kind of hole that everybody in the world has seen or heard about and want to come play. I have heard about that, but I've never seen it. How cool is that? All right, we are going to have a final look at your weather when we come on back. Since 1968, Sundown M Ranch has helped over 200,000 patients and families recover from the effects of substance use disorders. I was ashamed, humiliated, and not sure if I could be helped, but I listened and found a completely different way to live by spending time at Sundown. I did not believe there was a way out of the dark hole my life had become. Sundown M Ranch provided a foundation for me to find a new way to live. Sundown M Ranch, today is the first day of the rest of your life. Hey, your homework done? Yep. Hmm. Hey, is your homework done? This kind of is homework. So, what do you think? Uh, I'm so proud of you. Can I play some more? 
Is all your work done? Washington's Lottery is a proud partner in the goal to promote college and career training. Each time you play, you're helping students statewide. Make your first move with battery power made by steel. Find battery tools in the AK homeowner system starting at $199.99. Real steel. Find yours. When you get hurt on the job, you never know if you're going to get paid by Labor and Industries. Let Bothwell and Hamill fight on your behalf for your workers' comp. We can often increase your compensation. The sooner you call us, the better. If you were hurt at work, let us go to work to get you benefits. Call 509-584-4411 for a free consultation. Bothwell and Hamill. It's the end of the school year. Graduation sale here at the Auto Lot. And look at the 2016 Ford Explorer Platinum Leather Loader for only $19.95. Wow, what a deal. Or how about this 2018 Honda Center for 61,000 miles for only $19.95. It's like new. Or take out the 2020 Cherokee Laredo Esport 4x4 for only $24.95. All season ready. And Chevy lovers, how about this 2020 Malibu LS for only $19.95. Super clean. And how about this 2020 Rogue SL with only 46,000 miles loaded with premium wheels. Don't let this graduation sale pass you by. Visit us at AutoLotNW.com. Why is my internet slow? There's only 16 devices connected. I'm so over this. My cable internet bill just increased again. My upload speed is so bad, I can't even run a stream without buffering. Defeat cable lag. Switch to Zipply Fiber, America's fastest home internet. 25 times faster uploads. $65 less a month in cable. Zipply Fiber. Call 1-888-GO-ZIPLY or visit ZipplyFiber.com slash go -Zipply. Jessica Jalol and Jill Sperling. Good morning, Northwest. Weekdays on your side. Well, would you look at this? Could Netflix be preparing to build the new Disneyland? It is planning to go from online streaming to real world Netflix houses in Dallas and Philadelphia, where you could find special experiences based on Netflix shows and movies. One potential the Glass Bridge Challenge from Squid Games. I'll be honest, that's not what I thought of when they said Netflix houses. <laughs> I was either. like, a movie theater, All right? right? <laughs> we need more amusement parks, right? We do. Well, yeah. we, go. <laughs> we can also get outside. All right. Well, <laughs> let's that. take a peek at our viewer photo of the day. This came in yesterday from Raphael. He was out. And all those storms that came through, well, we got rainbows. And you know me, Austin, rainbows and butterflies. That's <laughs> what I like. So <laughs> anyway, thanks for that, Raphael. Take a picture of that QR code on the right side of your screen. That is how you can get your uh, weather photo on TV. You can also go to applevalleynewsnow.com and click on the weather tab. Submit your photo right there. Let's take a look at your seven day planning forecast for the Tri-Cities looking pretty good outside uh, those temperatures hitting the 90s briefly. We're still on the weather roller coaster guys mm -hmm. and then we're back to the 80s early part of next week. We're going to be keeping an eye on the windy day on Sunday and also some more breezy to gusty winds on Tuesday. A quick peek at Walla Walla and Hermiston also similar weather pattern. Juneteenth is tomorrow first day of summer on Thursday. 90s over the weekend, 80s for next week. So pretty good looking forecast to start summer off. It's going to feel great. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Thanks, Stacey, and thank you so much for watching. You can always find the latest on our website, applevalleynewsnow.com. And we'll be back tonight at 11. Thanks for staying up with us, though, for now. <laughs>